Modding series number four. Your starting lineup today is going to be Gia Notion Soldier. Let's do it. Welcome back, guys, to Fort Mort. I am Mort the Commander. We are doing the modding series. Me and you are going to talk about how, who, what, when, where, how to mod, how to get your characters as versatile as possible, use what you have in the basket. Of course, we're going to be 90% of the time be uh, farming speed mods, but speed isn't everything. So there are tons of different mods, guys. Tons of different mods. But we're going to talk about uh, Geonosian Soldier. You should be farming mods every single day. I cannot say it enough. Every single day if possible. Um, I preach it. I do it. Even when I do, I'm farming mods even every day, even if I can't get to them and keep my inventory clean these days. Um, and I suggest you do the same. Uh, you've got an inventory, I think, of five or 600. I think it's five, 500 extra mods outside of what you have on your character. It's 500. So you've got plenty of room to move it around. You just got to make sure you keep it clean. All right, let's talk about Geonosian Soldier. So he's uh, another one. Again, Geonosian Split Health and Protection. Um, and they also assist from Hive Mind. It's a great kit. On his basic, deal physical damage to uh, target enemy and inflict tenacity down for two turns. This is great. Inflicting tenacity down for two turns. Uh, the clutch one, though, is you need Sunfog to remove buffs in order to make sure that this tenacity lands. So you want Sunfog going first, which in the last video, I'm going to explain that as well. So we are on Geonosia number four. I'm going to give you a little bonus tip on how that works in, in video number five. All right, so inflict tenacity down for two turns, which means what? Anyone? 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 We could use some potency here. All right, but it is not priority. Uh, deal physical damage on his middle ability uh, to target enemy and call a random ally to assist. Now, that changes. Look below here, Hive Mind. Instead, select the ally who assists. So when he's under an alpha lead with Hive Mind, you can choose who to pass it to. And this is key. If the assisting ally is Gene Ocean, both attackers deal 25% more damage. <clears throat> so Soldier is going to be doing 25% more damage in the person you pass to. So who are you going to pass to? Me personally, I have Brute Alpha who scales to my Brute. I pass it to my brute because he hits the hardest. Most people pass it to spy because either their spy's relic or their uh, their spy hits harder than the brute. I would test that out, guys. Put it on one time and see who hits harder for you. And that's who you're always going to want to pass it to. So keep that in mind. Under high mind, you can pass it to who you want. If the soldier is under a uh, separatist leadership other than alpha, uh, it's going to be random. All right. Hive tactics for this guy. Gene Ocean allies have plus 35% defense penetration. This is a great little thing right here. It's something that's that's missed. So going through defense, basically, which defense is a huge stat in the game now. Gene Ocean allies have plus 15% crit chance. Ooh, I like it. Gene Ocean soldier gains 25% turn rating when he scores a critical hit, which means what? We need high crit chance. So with the extra 15% on my kid in general... I've got an extra 22% on my guy, which he's at 62% right now. So right now I've got 77% chance just from his kit of actually critting. And then I also put high because I have such high crit chance. I want to crit damage. So 216%. So he hits like a truck. The other thing I wanted with him too is I want him speedy. I want him fast. Um, he doesn't have to be super, super fast, but at 239, I feel pretty good about it. Let me change this up right here. So he's got a pretty simple kit. He's only got three abilities. Again, with this, uh, with these guys, you want protection and health. Uh, the circle, you're going to want protect, protection or health in general. Um, arrow, you're going to want speed because you want him fast. The triangle, you're going to want crit damage because he's going to have natural high crit chance anyway. Any excess crit chance you can put on the secondary would be amazing to boost that up. And then the cross, you're going to want offense because you want him hitting pretty hard as well. Uh, you can, if you really, really, really wanted to, put a potency cross, but it's just... It wouldn't raise it up enough to make it worth it, to be honest. He's got a low natural potency. <clears throat> and from what I see, for the most part, his tenacity down doesn't miss um, very often. Uh, crit chance, the circle. Sorry, not circle. Your next, your secondary, sorry, you're going to want to try. Your priority is going to be crit chance. So if you could find, like, right here, crit chance. If, oh, sorry. Let me drop that down. I've got high crit chance right here uh, on my secondary. I tried to find that on as many mods that I had speed on them as well. Your um, speed, obviously, is going to be your secondary priority, then health and protection, and then potency last, and little potency isn't going to hurt. Um, you're going to want four crit damage mods and two crit chance. There is no discussion here. It's not health. 
you're you're splitting your health and protection off of your um alpha and your sun fox for the most part those guys are going to pass you most of that the rest of your guys are support characters so if you can get your sun fox and your geon ocean brood alpha really healthy and, and high health of protection you're in good shape speed mods are usable but we need those for the better tunes crit damage mods with speed are actually better if you have them um so instead of do, using speed mods main speed mods again we want crit damage and crit chance and then a speed minimum goal of 220 if you get them over 240 even better that would be awesome um all right so we got one more character to do and it's poggle he's probably one of the all these guys are clutch in this team guys they are really really good and like i said in the next video we're going to be talking about the turn order for these guys and how it works exactly all right till next time and you remember what you got to do hit that follow button if you haven't done already and then get in there after watching this and fix your mods fix your mods appreciate you guys till next time shut up and sit down